Welcome back to another video everyone. In this video, we're going to review and check out the Princeton Two Burner Gas Stove by Outland Living. They were kind enough to send this over to me to check out. I'm very excited because I've been actually looking for a gas stove similar to this one, the compact that I can take with us when we're going camping. A more alternative from your standard grill that I have, so let's check this out. Alrighty y'all, here she is. I was able to put it together. It's really nice and very, very sturdy. This is a handle you can essentially grab so you can carry it. You have the option of just placing it on a table or a bench like that, or you have these little legs right here so you can extend it. And of course, make it stand off the ground like that. But overall, I'm actually very impressed by the quality of this. The burners look really nice too. Everything is nice and sturdy, which is something I really appreciate. It's nothing flimsy. Um, so what I'm gonna do actually, I'm going to take this with us camping this weekend. And the goal is to use it out there and actually, you know, cook up some good food, maybe some breakfast and some pancakes and whatnot. So. But what I am going to do and now in the garage, since I have the propane tank right here, is I'm gonna just fire up real quick on low. Just to see what the flames look like. All right, found the lighter. And I was able to hook her up, so. This is it all the way up. It's about halfway. And that's her off. That's number two. definitely produce a good amount of heat so I'm excited to use this I'm gonna put it to the test this weekend huge shout out again to Outland Living they're actually it's the same company that makes our fire pit and our fire pit is absolutely amazing if you don't have a propane fire tank I highly recommend getting one especially if you're camping and you go into a lot of places where they do have fire restrictions totally worth it so be sure to check them out outland living princeton two burner gas stove this is the first part of this video the second part you're going to probably see me in the woods cooking up some bacon and eggs so make sure to like and subscribe i appreciate you all thank you again outland living see you shortly
bacon is almost ready. Took less than a couple minutes. This Princeton two burner stove is absolutely epic. Thank you again, Outland Living, for setting us up out here. If it wasn't for you, not only would we be cold, so thanks to the fireplace, but we'll also probably be starving. <laughs> Bacon is getting there. Take a look at this, babe. Ooh. Today we got gorgeous. Babes is the camera girl. <laughs> you let us know how amazing she's doing on the camera. I think she's doing a great job. I've seen already a couple of the shots she took. Almost looked like a professional. All right, y'all. So since we forgot oil at home, what we're gonna use is pretty much use the leftover of the bacon grease to kind of coat this pan, put the eggs in. Won't need a lot. And then another little cool little hack is scramble your eggs up and then put them inside of a little plastic bottle. It makes it super easy for you to transport them. Unless you like your eggs sunny side up, then I wouldn't recommend this. <laughs> but we're easy, we like them scrambled, right babe? Yeah, we do. Have some good old eggs and bacon, and then I'm gonna make myself some pancakes since Vanessa decided she didn't want any. <laughs> but knowing her, I'll she's probably, probably gonna wanna piece. attack me on that. <laughs> I'm like, hey babe, you want me to make you some? No, some but I have some of yours. Camping? No, <laughs> I don't want any pancakes. And then we get to the campsite, can I have pancakes? Comes really handy. Pretty much every spice in the world in here that you need. Add some sal. Good old black pepper. Some garlic salt. Not too much because we already put salt in. And then maybe some cayenne for Vanessa. Mm. Make it a little spicy. Add a little spice to it. Looking beautiful. Going Ramsey style. Outland Ramsey. And belly. Transfer the eggs in here so they can stay a little bit warm. I put this part of the burner on low. And then over here we got, whoopsie. Cook up some pancakes. Oh damn. Look at that. If you guys are wondering what that is, those are walnuts. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna want a piece of those pancakes. Well, it looks like it only came out to one pancake. <laughs> well, yeah, another little tip. If you have one of these little shaker bottles laying around and you want to make some pancakes, you want to take the pancakes with you when you're going camping, 
put it all in here, shake it up, and you're good to go. Just don't do what I did and make sure you don't listen to the instructions because the instructions said it was going to be enough for five to seven pancakes and it's definitely not enough for five to seven pancakes. One thing that's really cool about this burner is you can, you have essentially these little levers right here that you can adjust the air input that goes into the flames. So you can go from having a really high, I guess, yellow flame to just primarily a blue one, which is what you want. You'd want a blue flame. The blue one is that causes the most amount of heat. Really cool. Just finishing off breakfast now. We're almost done cooking everything. Eggs are staying warm. Thanks to the burner. Pancake is almost ready. Bacon was cooked to perfection. Again, huge thank you to Outland Living for this amazing burner. We're going to wrap this video up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah. Be on a lookout because we're going to be coming out with more videos like this. Thanks again for watching, and we're done. <laughs>